Hello there, I'm the Story Ninjas in the house, bringing stories to wherever you are. So listening ninjas, let's gather around and find out what's happening in this book. Another book from my local Lansdowne library, a library that I've been visiting since I was as young as you. Elephants don't grow on trees. I'm sure some of you are saying, well, of course they don't grow on trees, they're far too big. Well, the story has been written by A. H. Benjamin and illustrated by Audrey Leroux. One more look. Let's find out. So where do we find elephants if not growing on trees? Well, Mr. Tusker, let's introduce you to Mr. Tusker. Right down here. Mr. Tusker loved elephants. And I'm sure you can see elephants everywhere. Let's have a closer look. Do you see? I hope you can. Elephants on his wall. Ornaments and prints and pictures. Well, a little bit about Mr. Tusker as a little boy. As a little boy, he used to ask his parents to buy him an elephant for a pet. No, they would reply. Elephants don't grow on trees. Even now, Mr. Tusker wished for an elephant. That was his dream. It's good to always have dreams and to hold on to dreams. Well, one day, Mr. Tusker decided that he had waited long enough. I simply must have an elephant, he said to himself. He was determined. Determination's good. Well, Mr. Tusker went to the biggest pet shop in the country. I want to buy an elephant, please, he said. Don't be silly, laughed the shop owner. How about a hamster instead? No, I want an elephant, insisted Mr. Tusker. Well, elephants don't grow on trees, said the shop owner. Out of all these pets, Mr. Tusker wants to still settle for his elephant. Next, Mr. Tusker tried the largest safari park in the country. And in South Africa, I think Kruger National Park probably lists as that. Sell you an elephant, cried the safari park manager. No way! My elephants are very popular with visitors. I only want one elephant, said Mr. Tusker. No, refused the safari park manager. Elephants don't grow on trees. Well, some of you may have visited nature reserves or game parks, and you would know that the animals roam around freely, and they are wild. After that, Mr. Tusker tried the greatest circus in town. I wish to buy an elephant, he told the ringmaster. You what? frowned the ringmaster. I wish to buy an elephant, repeated Mr. Tusker. That one over there. That one over there. Are you mad? boomed the ringmaster. Go away! Elephants don't grow on trees. My word, Mr. Tusker. Well, anyways, Mr. Tusker went back home, very disappointed. Where can I get an elephant from, he wondered sadly. Oh, he became so desperate. He put a large notice in his front garden and it said, Elephant wanted. Now Mr. Tusker was meaning business. Mr. Tusker waited and hoped, but no one came to say they had an elephant for sale. You'll never get one, laughed the neighbours. Elephants don't grow on trees. Mr. Tusker wrote to the Maharaj of India, asking him if he could spare an elephant. He should have plenty of them, he thought hopefully. Well, two weeks later, Mr. Tusker received a huge postcard from the Maharaj of India. And it said, yes, let's read, elephants don't grow on trees. Oh, the neighbours laughed even more. We told you that, they said. Oh, Mr. Tusker had had enough. Well, he packed his suitcase and he took a plane to Africa. I'll catch an elephant myself, he thought. But elephants aren't easy to catch, as he soon found out. Chasing after them with a large butterfly net. A large butterfly net for an elephant? <laughs> no, that wasn't a good idea. 
tempting them with peanut butter sandwiches didn't work. Mm -mm. Setting a trap didn't fool them either. It was Mr. Tusker who fell into his very own trap. Mr. Tusker, Mr. Tusker. Oh, it's no use, sighed Mr. Tusker, giving up. Exhausted, he sat in the shade of a strange-looking tree, and just then, thud, a fruit fell to the ground. Curious, Mr. Tusker picked it up, and he couldn't believe his eyes. The fruit was shaped almost like an elephant. Do you see those guys? A tiny elephant. It even had a sort of a trunk. Ha ha ha, laughed Mr. Tusker. Who said elephants don't grow on trees? And a few days later, Mr. Tusker returned home with a strange looking tree. You're not going to grow elephants, are you? jeered the neighbours. Mr. Tusker ignored them. Oh, let's see this tree. I haven't seen one like that, have you? Not yet. Well, Mr. Tusk ignored those pesky neighbours. Busy body too, I think, eh? He planted the tree in his back garden and he took good care of it. And soon it was laden with elephant-shaped fruits. Mr. Tusker was pleased. Hmm, I still wish I had a real elephant, he thought. But that same night, something strange happened. What do you think happened? Miss Reed, the local librarian, who was also a part-time witch, was trying out a new broomstick. She couldn't control it. And crash! Oh, she flew into Mr. Tusker's elephant tree. What was Miss Reed up to? Toads, newts and picture books, she muttered as she picked herself up. Look at this mess! She had spilt her bag of potions all over Mr. Tusker's tree. What's going to happen now, she thought, and she left in a hurry. Mr. Tusker's tree started to shake like mad. It flashed and sparked furiously. Thick smoke rose from it. Tiny noises filled the air. Then, shh, all went quiet. The next morning, Mr. Tusker was having breakfast when he heard noises in his back garden. Thud! Thud, thud, <gasps> peering through the window, he saw something astonishing. I hear what you are saying. Mm -hmm. I must be dreaming, he gasped, rubbing his eyes in disbelief. Three or four tiny elephants were running about on the lawn. They were real, uh, and more were falling from the tree. Thud, thud, another thud. The fruit elephants did not stay tiny for long. They grew bigger and bigger and even bigger until they were the size of real elephants. And soon the whole neighbourhood was full of elephants, trumpeting loudly. They crashed through garden fences. They knocked down lampposts. Could you believe that? <gasps> Elephants running rampage in your neighbourhood. Nothing was safe. Cars were squashed. It was utter chaos. It's Mr. Tusker's doing, shouted the neighbours angrily. He grew them. Yes, I did, shouted Mr. Tusker, jumping up and down for joy. Whoopee! Mr. Tusker's dream has finally been realised, and it was his turn to laugh at the neighbours. How he enjoyed it! Well, it took a month before all the elephants were caught and shipped to an elephant sanctuary. Mr. Tusker was sad, but he could always visit his friends, and that's exactly what he did. Tusker's sanctuary, or oh, Tusker's elephant sanctuary, well... I doubt I'd be growing an elephant tree in my backyard. Don't know about you. So, Mr. Tusker, however much you love elephants, I think it's safest to visit them right where they are.
in the wild. So be careful what you wish for next time and goodbye for now.